that I you didn't quite talk about is the art of unlearning. Because in order to step into something else, one may need to give up previous identities. Can you speak a little bit about that? I think the fastest way to learn anything is to fail. Like you're, you're, you're pursuing something and you hit a bump in the road. You're working on a book or you're, you're trying to impress a girl or you're trying to get a contract, right? And you say the wrong thing. You stick your foot in your mouth. You, you reveal something you should not have revealed and you, and you make a mistake and the contract doesn't go through or you lose the girl or you lose a bunch of money because you thought you were investing in a good stock and it, it turned out to be a scam or, you know, all of us have these, I would call them trials and tribulations. All of us do. It's part of living. I think when, I think you have to embrace the unexpected, the dissonance that sometimes comes with it, the challenge and the change. And it's from that, that you recalibrate and you learn. So what I'm talking about is when, you know, when you fall off the horse, it's the ability to learn, okay, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to ride the horse that way, or I'm not going to take that trail. I'm going to take the other trail next time. I'm going to use a different horse, right? There's a zillion conclusions you come to, but every one of the times that you fall is an incredible chance to let, to learn. So I think that the, the expression fail fast, fail faster is a great one. I think when you have challenges, that's when you have the greatest growth. But right now, CK, we're talking in the middle of a global pandemic. I think all of us are, are dealing with a, a set of our own unique challenges. Some of them are global and are shared, right? There are some challenges we're all sharing, like the fact that my children can't go to school in the physical form and millions of other people around the world are experiencing the same thing. But I also think there's unique things that we're experiencing. And one of the ones for me is I've been a live entertainer and a live speaker speaking in front of, you know, 5,000 people. <laughs> That's over right for now, temporarily over for the last 11 months, I have not been able to do that. So what I've been doing is delivering what I do virtually. And in many ways, it's amazing. And in many ways, it's, it's a challenge. And there were, and when I was initially doing them, I had all kinds of failures, sonic failures, things not working the right way. Just now things are, are working much better. <laughs> and I'm, be, I'm able to deliver this all, all over the world. But the point is, is the failures are what are the only way we learn. So I think, I think, I think you've got to embrace, embrace the challenges, hold them close, learn and, and overcome. I, I don't always put on a suit of armor and do whatever I want to do. I, I'm, I'm a person who does, I do check the temperature of the water before I jump into it. I do have a I do have a, a, a certain level of caution in me. I'm not a, there are some people that are, I wouldn't call myself on a scale of one to 10, a 10 is a risk taker. I'm probably maybe more of a seven. Yeah. You know, I look at the cliff before I jump over it. And then I look and go, I think I can land on my feet. And there's some water down there that I can jump. I can land in if I miss where I'm trying to land. You know, I think about consequences a bit. So I'm not a total risk taker. There are plenty of people that have, that are much more chances, much more than I do, but yeah. I do take a fair amount of chances and my life and my journey has been one giant experiment. My career and the things I've done and the people I've worked with, you can't take a course in college and, and take a course, uh, get an EMBA in this kind of journey that I've gone through.